Hi everyone. Right, I've just cut this shape out. I'm using these paint dobbers as well. Um, don't ask me why. Because <laughs> I don't know. I just thought, oh I fancy doing something totally different. And what came into my head was um, doing this tree. Um, and calling it, what shall I call it? The Tree of Life. Yeah. Sorry, the camera stopped for some reason. I've just charged it all up. Yeah, um, so what I did, I took a sheet of um, what uh, um, Cynthia gave me, which was these sheets here. That's all it was, one of those. And I've cut it out by hand, just a shape. I don't... Uh, is I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I've got a picture in my head, and if I can get it to look like that in my head, then I'll be fine. And I've already made up some of these, because these are going on it as well. And I'm going to put some birds on it and something. I don't know. But I was saying about the paint. I'm using the folk art, which is the hunter green. Uh, the metallic, which is the deco art paint. Um, the royal lang nicker. Nickel, sorry. Nicker. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what colour that one is. Oh, what is it? Pinta. Well, it's a top. Um, I've got another one. Oh, which is this one? And this is uh, the Butter Pecan, which is a folk, uh, folk art. So I'm just going to put a bit of this green in here. Because, like I say, I, and I'm, sta I'm not washing the brush or anything. Can't be bothered. I just... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyway, I like the brown showing through, what, I, what I've just painted on. Um, yeah, like that bit. Let's see what else I've got. Oh, I know what I have got. That I don't use very often, although I got it. Uh, Maybe 14, that's Caroline. She uh, got me into using this. I'm just going to dab it on. Oops. Well, I was going to dab it on. That's all I'm going to use. It's a lighter uh, green. Which one is it? It's one of these eco-friendly ones. Um, green patina. <coughs> oh, dear me. So what I'm going to do first is just dab it onto there, onto my board. And just dab it over. Sorry about that, it's uh, gone off. Now what I've done is I've just sprayed it. I haven't dried it, I've just sprayed it. Using the new glimmer mist that I got the other day. Um, and that is the apple. Lovely colour. Lovely. And what I'm going to use now is the turquoise blue. And just mix that in. Pull the board down a bit. So now what I'm going to do, now I'm going to dry it. So I'll come back when it's done. I'm not sure how much of this video you've seen, but what I've done, because it keeps going off for some reason, my camera, I've covered this with the uh, be glass beaded gel. I've just stippled it over, a few brush marks in it. I've then coloured it with the glimmer mists, which is the apple and the uh, turquoise blue and then dried that off and I'm just popping that underneath it's not quite dry to be honest uh, and I've just gone over the base of this with copper I've got this raffiter out and I don't know I don't know because I need to put some other bits and pieces in and what I'm going to do I'll, I'll do something I'll be back in a minute right I'm just um found the picture that I want. Don't ask me how I come to get in one of these. I don't know. So I'm just finishing colouring it in. Um, I mean it was coloured before. I'm just basically going over it. Some of it wasn't. And I thought right well I'll just go over that. Put a bit of colour where I want it. You know. Um, just using the carpet marker. Do 
you know what, Brenda, if you're watching, you know when I got you the black carpet marker, I forgot to get me on again. <laughs> oh, what am I like? Never mind. What I'm going to use is, if I can find it, not that. See, I never, oh, why do, I, you see, I think people come in here and they take things. I really do. They take things that don't belong to them, they belong to me, and they come in and they take them. They pinch them. Is that right? Hang on, so I've got one here somewhere, or I did have. I'm not sure if this will work. We'll try it. My fine. Because I found some more pens the other day, and I thought, oh, where did they come from? They were in a box I'd forgotten about. Yeah, that's fine. This is the one I needed the other day when I wanted, um, you know, the fine nibbed one. I want to darken the hair there, to be honest. I don't want the shadow on it, uh, the greyish. Leave the braid. Cause I'm, oh, I'll leave that in there because I'm going to do um, the braid in red. And she's got some little writing on her, or swirls on her ankle. I'm just going to pop those back in. That's it. I'm quite happy with that. Um, sorry, has it run out? Oh, ten seconds to go. What I've done so far is I've coloured this in um, with the carpet markers. It was already coloured but very pale and I've gone over it all. So that's what I'm going to put on my picture. And like I said, don't ask why, I don't know. I've cut out these leaves. Which, um, do you know, I, f I might leave them and save them for something else or put them in a parcel because at the end of the day, there's an easier way to do that. Um, and I've got this now. So now, um, see, I don't, I, f I don't know what I'm doing because I didn't plan any of it. I just thought I'll try something different. That's completely dry now. I'm just going to have it sat in the middle. And... Yeah. I need that to bend back somehow. Well, I know what I'll do. This is when I can start building on a picture. When I don't know what I'm going to do, but then I see something. Hopefully that'll glue. Yeah, I like that. I'm sorry if I've gone quiet, but um, one minute something left. The only thing is now I can't see how long I've got on the blooming camera. Because it's on the desk, because so I have to keep jumping up for it. And then I'm going to sit her right there. Right at the bottom of the tree. And glue that to there just to Oh yeah, I like that look. Hope you can see that. Isn't that blue? Well, I like it anyway. Yeah, I love that. Very nice. Right, I'm just winding in a little bit of twine. It's it's wire, a wired twine. It's covered raffita. Oh, I'm getting tired. Sorry. But, um... Don't ask me why I'm doing this either. I don't know. Why do I do a lot of things? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, you'll just go with the flow with me. I'm just 
just attaching this when I want it under the tree. I want that bent forward a bit. I'll clip under there. And I really want to attach it to that piece. If I can. Like that. Like I say, don't ask me why I'm doing it like this. I don't have a clue. Um, I haven't. I haven't got a blooming clue what I'm doing. I'm just building it as I see it. Hmm. I need to hang something from the end. That shall be hang from the end. Right, what I'm doing now is I've put the beads on that I want, and where I want them, and I've only got four locks on. And then what I'm going to do, or what I am doing, it's just adding these little flowers. And this is an original piece of art by moi. <laughs> I don't know why I put the vine on, but I just like that. Because I like things like this. I really do. And put one there. And the last one. Oh, I've got two here. I didn't see them. So there again, I don't want to overdo it. But I must put these on, I think. I'll just pop one there. Use them up. Why not? I kind of like that. Not sure if you can see it. Um, and then what I want to do is using up the um, metallic one with the big dopper, which I'm going to just quickly clean. Oops, now you tip me water jug open over then. Um, and I'm just going to use the metallic paint just to do around, smooth all those out of the way. Just to do around the edges and the corners like that. Like that. What minutes am I on? 40 odd seconds. Well, I don't know what else I want to do with it, but um, I'll be back in a minute. Right, what I've done now is just put this metal butterfly on here. Now, I'm not going to colour it or anything, I don't want it coloured. I like that as it is. I've also added one of the Attica Studio little brass uh, things like she's holding it in her hand. And I don't know, but I do want to put a little bit of trim on. Yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. So, I'm going to just shift this lot. Because I'm like that. I just do what I want to do. See? I act like anybody else. <laughs> a bit of a squiggly line, but it'll work. The reason why I like this is because I've used a lot of different things and textures, like um, the glass uh, bead medium. And then, um, what else have I used? Different paints. 
Yeah, I like that. Oops, cut that end off off as well. I'm just going to singe the edges. Not a lot, in case I set fire to it. Right, just a melt them a bit and stop them from fraying. And there you go, finished project. project. Where's the beads gone? There they are, because I've had it laid down. I'll pull all the threads off later. Um, come out. And there you go. My little project that just came out of my head. Probably not everybody's cup of tea, but it's mine. Well, I just thought I'd come back and uh, show you this in a bit, a uh, bit of a better light and stood up. Um, I like it. It probably isn't everybody's cup of tea. I might still do a bit more with a background. I don't know. But if I do, I'll come back and show you. I actually tried stamping in the corners and they've not worked because it was glass beads uh, that's on the thing, it's not smooth and so it looks like it's been worn I kind of like it like that um, I might go over it with some paint, black paint but then again I might not